Happy February 1st, Auburn High School. It's Mr. Gardner. It is Monday, February 1, the start of Black History Month and a day off for our students. So I hope today finds you in a good place. Uh, if you're working your jobs, hopefully your shift goes well. If you get to kick back, uh, enjoy the time. Um, if you're still working on some things for teachers, keep working away, okay? It never ends, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to presentation mode here really quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my camera so we can really focus on what's on the screen. So I just wanted to share, uh, since 1976, February is Black History Month. Black History Month was created in 1926 by an African-American historian, scholar, educator, and publisher named Carter G. Woodson. Woodson named it Negro History Month at that time. And the reason February was chosen was because it coincides with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Um, there is a movement, it's called Black Lives Matter at School. And this was created in, in 2019. Um, I, don't, I don't have the information as far as where it came out of but I wanted to let you know that because this week, um, whoops, this week at school, um, it's a four day week, but it's still a five day work week. It's considered Black um, Lives Matter at school. Um, back in May, June, um, shortly after George Floyd's uh, death, there was quite a reaction nationally, as most of you know. And uh, I was trying to find a way to kind of capture from my standpoint, um, you know, I'm not the world's greatest wordsmith by any means, so I was reading a lot of different things and um, kind of helping that push, push, put my uh, thoughts together. And I came up with a statement that I basically sent out to our Auburn High School staff and students. Um, and this is how it goes. Black Lives Matter. At our school, I believe a safe and caring learning environment is strengthened by embracing diversity and respecting self and others. I believe relationships and a sense of belonging are key to learning and that every adult in the district is a mentor to students. I believe students, families, and staff can thrive in a community rich with partnerships, support, and resources. At Auburn High School, we aspire to and are doing the work so that black families, black students, families, and staff will be able to say that the above is our truth. So I wanna share a little bit about um, the purpose of, of Black Lives Matter at school. I've included a video, I'm not gonna show it on here because it just gets too choppy. It's a really short one. It's about, it's about two minutes long. And uh, before I go to that, I do wanna share with you that we had a panel of students and, and we continue to have panels of students at Auburn High because we need to hear student voice. But this is one that takes us all the way back to the spring of 2018. Uh, seniors, you were freshmen then. Uh, juniors, you were still in eighth grade. Uh, a couple of these uh, amazing young people are still students at Auburn High. But we had a panel of students and they shared about their truths um, as Latinx uh, students, as black students, as Native American students, as white students, um, Pacific Islander students. But we had a great representation and uh, our staff was able to find out a little bit more about how life rolled around Auburn High School for all students, at least from the perspective of, of, of these kids. And it was really a good stepping stone for our school to really get into conversations about um, what we have to do to have a more equitable education for, for all kids. So here's that video I was talking about. Um, it's, it's on that link um, and I'll include it in the email also, but it's, it's about two, two and a half minutes. And it's a little bit of student voice, a little bit of teacher voice. It's from a different, um, school system. I think there's a little bit in there from Washington, but it really captures it well. So February is Black History Month. What will that mean for our school, especially now that we can't come together in a physical space? What will this mean for Auburn High School, a school that is 10% Black African American, a school that is 71% students of color? What will our collective experiences be this month? Will our takeaways be about inclusion? Our, our school won an award from the state two years ago about how we're doing such a great job with inclusion and what that means in that case was our students who are uh, service and special education, we've really closed a lot of uh, achievement gaps and growth gaps. We're doing a fantastic job with them. Will the experience this month and hopefully forever be about tolerance? Um, 
I remember when tolerance, the, kind of that term came out as we really started thinking about equity in schools a long time ago and how that tolerance became more about acceptance. Um, and now we're talking more about belonging. Um, and some of our conversations we have, we talk about creating a very welcoming front porch atmosphere and then kind of making sure that people know they're, they're welcome in our homes, whatever that might be. Um, and I'm speaking symbolically here. Um, is there a place in the kitchen? Is there a place at the table? And that's really what we're trying to get to is a sense of belonging for all staff and all students. So we know there's a lot of media noise out there. We know there's a lot of political noise out there. And I just wanna say this isn't about who's right or about making others look wrong. Um, this is about our school, our students, and for our staff members of color. This is about empathy, about believing um, and understanding and asking questions and being curious. Um, this is about behaviors that can broaden attitudes and ultimately help shape beliefs and results because uh, we, we all belong at Auburn High School and we should not have to forego leaving parts of us behind just because we're entering the school or a classroom or, or whatever type of school related event. And uh, just want to make sure that, um, that you guys understand, our students understand this is something we are working on. Um, I love this quote by the late Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. And when you're doing the work of equity, it, it can be, um, it can be riveting, it can be exhausting, it could be exciting, uh, it could be frustrating, but you got to continue making those uh, steps to making sure that everybody knows that they belong. Um, at Auburn High School, we got to drop that word impossible. We got to make things possible. So uh, just a short video, just wanted to let you know about this. Um, teachers have been equipped with more resources. You'll probably see more about um, Black History Month, probably in a social studies class, maybe in an English class, maybe a little bit of mention in math or, or science. Um, hopefully um, you guys can at least have some conversations about it. Um, and then this, this coming week, um, it's Black Lives Matter in school. And I want us to really embrace that. And let's work hard to make Auburn High School the very best high school it can be for all students. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for listening. And congratulations on making it through the first two quarters.